Hello and welcome to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, in this channel, I talk a lot about home educating in the UK and a little bit about family life, specifically family life in a neurodiverse household because everybody here is neurodiverse in some way, shape or form. Um, if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I know I've been a bit flaky. I'm trying really, really hard with that and um, and here we are, here we are attempting it again. So as the title suggests, I've got 10 top tips for you um, in your home education journey um, today. And just a disclaimer before we get into the video, uh, these might not work for you. They might not fit your ethos or your parenting style or anything like that. And that's absolutely fine. I'm not telling you to do these things. I'm just saying that these are the things that work for us. They also, some of them work for people I know as well, that um, friends would agree with me on some of these. So I just, I want to be able to share those with you. I've done a couple of top tips videos before um, when I was doing a channel um, for a education provider. And um, my tips are different all the time, like every time, like to put in what season of life I'm in. So let's get into it and... You can share your top tips in the comments below uh, while we're going along if you want to. So tip number one is when nothing is going right, stop and play. Um, this is one I have to remind myself all the time. Uh, two of my children are autistic and sometimes we get refusal about stuff and it's, um, they find it really, really hard to do stuff that they're not interested in. They're, they haven't got this like override switch where they can go, you know what, I'm going to do it anyway. Like they just, it's not there and that's fine. It doesn't sound like fun to me anyway. Uh, why would I want to do something I hate doing? Maybe they are a bit more vocal about it. Maybe that's because they're home educated. I don't know, but, um, yeah. So there's absolutely, if they're refusing to do something, there's no way I can get around it. Um, occasionally I can reason with them and be like, okay, well, let's just do five minutes and so on and so forth but most of the time when they stop it's really in everyone's best interest um when they refuse sorry it's really in everyone's best interest to just stop and I would just say go and play just go and play just go and play go out on the trampoline go on screens and play Roblox for a minute for 10 minutes let's see how you feel again in, in a little while and quite a lot of the time they'll then come back to it and then they'll get on and they'll just and they'll be much more focused um and they'll enjoy it then and it'll be things maybe I'll tell them to go and get a snack or I'll make them a snack make them a hot chocolate or something something that's going to make them feel um seen loved cared about and sometimes that just helps and other times we just write off the day and we go and play and or we go watch a film or a documentary or whatever we just stop what we're doing and move on um but yeah, that's my biggest. If you really feel like you're fighting to fighting with them and maybe your kid's been in school and you're still like, I'm, I was fighting to get them to school and they wouldn't go. And now I'm fighting to home educate them because they won't do it. Just stop and play. Play together. Let them play alone. Um, whatever works, just stop and play. That's my big one. <clears throat> big number one. Number two, uh, little and often works really well and fill the rest of the time with outside time and arts and crafts. Um, obviously, this isn't going to work for everybody, but it certainly works for us. Um, we prefer doing little and often. Um, we will do, um, I try and do English and maths with them every day. And um, that will be, um, they'll have like one maybe they'll have one day off a week when they don't do something but that's just because we're busy doing other things um but they'll do English and maths the rest of the time and they're literally doing 20 minutes of English 20 minutes of maths and that's it at the moment we've had some time off because my grandfather was unwell and I care for him so um it was just crazy uh he was he was unwell and um and I had to visit him every day for about three weeks um and um and yeah he was he was quite quite seriously unwell so I had to look after him I'm still looking after him just three times a week now I go in and see him and take care of him and I call him on the other days um uh, but it, yeah just life was crazy and I was going backwards and forwards all the time um like and I was having to get childcare for the children because um, where he was like I couldn't always take them in with me and I couldn't take all of them in with me and it, yeah, it was crazy so um yeah so 
that's that like little and often <laughs> we we had to stop it we didn't do anything for like a month and then we've eased ourselves back in just doing maths and on say monday and then english on tuesday and maths on monday and, and like so we're just doing one at a time and then next week i will start to on our quieter days introduce doing both again um just so no one feels like i'm suddenly making them do loads after they've had a month off a month off of doing english and maths workbook not in a month off of education as a whole because they still went to all of their groups that they go to um, where they are doing stuff and they still read every day and all of that sort of thing so just the workbooks they've had a month off of them but yeah so the rest of that time I'm not necessarily I'm not saying hey spend you work for you do some homeschool for an hour and then you spend three hours a day crafting and three hours a day outside it's just not what I'm saying at all I'm saying the that it's, it's important to us as a family that we have outside time and that looks like looking after our horses that looks like walking the dog that looks like going to the park that looks like going to the beach that looks like walking into town instead of taking the car um it's not necessarily going for walks or going to the park uh, there's a we went to a motor museum recently in um in the new forest and uh, most of that is outside apart from the main moti museum bit everything else is outside uh so we that was you know that was outside time we went on the monorail twice and we went through the gardens and we went into um the ruins and the only bit that we were inside was when we were in the moti museum everything else was outside so if we go to the wildlife park or the zoo or something that's all outside outside time um doesn't necessarily have to be doing nature study in the woods and crafts is super easy like it can just be giving them some junk, some PVA glue and a pair of scissors and saying, go for it, make something. And junk modeling is so amazing. It's so, um, just so much creation happens, so much creativity. And it could just be giving them some card and some paper and some tissue paper. Easy stuff that you can pick up from those cheap shops like B&M, Home Bargains, Pound Stretcher, that sort of thing. A pair of scissors and a print stick and just crafting together. Um, it doesn't, you don't have to have a plan. You can just have the materials and then see what comes up. Um, so uh, it might be a bit messy and maybe if you are one of those people that really does not like mess, um, I know some parents just can't deal with it and that's fine. Um, you know, you can, you can find other ways around it or be some good character building, train your children up to uh, tidy up after themselves. Good luck. If you manage to do that, let me know because I'm still trying to figure out how to get them to clear up after themselves uh, when we do crafting. Uh, I have no idea how to do it. <laughs> so number three three find good friends that get it uh this is a big one for me i managed to find some really good home educating friends even before my eldest uh was um compulsory school age so he is almost 12 he would be in year seven if he was at school and i found my first home educating friends when he was about 18 months old two years old uh, around the time i had bessie and they had children of a similar age and most of those people we are still very good friends with now and because they just get it they just we were all at the beginning of our journey together some of us um our children have never been to school so um it's just really it's really amazing and others i found along the way but having that community um of people who really understand what you're going through because they're going through it too is really really important and it makes you feel less lonely and when you're having a wobble you can support each other and be like it's okay this happens to me too and then everyone realizes that it's kind of okay number four uh join online groups um local and national so i'm not on any national groups however i have my own facebook group if you would like to join it it's very quiet we don't really do much in there but um i'm always happy to chat and answer questions um i'll put a link in the description there's always a link in the description of my videos uh, but i'm in local groups uh ones that are based in the new forest and then ones that are based outside so like the new forest is between bournemouth and southampton um, so and there are groups for the various different areas so i will be in um different areas you know just in case something and then you know you can you can meet up with people and make new friends which is always good uh number five excuse me work out your home ed style with the quiz in the description it's not my quiz it's from another website um, but i love it sometimes i think with different seasons that you're going through in your life as things change your home ed style what you think is important changes um i um come up as being charlotte mason unit studies and unschooling which i think is probably a 
a reasonable a reasonable assumption um I have bits from each of those in my um in the way I home educate my children and um and you might find that you are 25% of this 25% of that 50% this whatever um and you can then go oh actually I really like that one thing from Reggio I like that one thing from Montessori I'm going to implement that nobody says that you have to just be unschoolers you can be like I'm un I want to be an unschooler who brings in this principle from this I'm going to be uh Charlotte Mason but I'm going to bring in this uh from Montessori like it doesn't and lots of them overlap anyway in various areas so check out the quiz uh, let me know um what your what it comes up as uh what what's, what's it say for you are you Charlotte Mason are you unit studies are you unschoolers like what does it come up for you obviously take it with a pinch of salt you know what you want best but if you are struggling trying to work out which way to go trying to try try and find something new that might help uh, number six, try out platforms like study.com, study Twinkle and Outschool. Now, this is not a sponsored video um, with them. I do have um, affiliate links for study.com and Outschool. They're in the description. So it's not a sponsored video, um, but it is an affiliate. There's an I'm an affiliate with them. So if you try it, do a trial or... Um, um if you do a trial with them or like buy a membership then i will get some money for it um uh, but it's not like a paid partnership so. <clears throat> um so yeah i um we've recently found study.com and they do proper courses they have video lessons it's not like live or anything like that you can work through it at your own pace um i'm really liking it i'm thinking of um doing it for a couple of subjects for Charles. Uh, he does computer science lessons already, but I'm thinking of doing things like um, biology on there with him. Excuse me. Um, and maybe other stuff, maybe a language, just to on days when I like neither of us are really feeling it. I'd be like, hey, just go watch a study.com lesson. Just do that. And he'll be like, done. Uh, Twinkle. I get all of my resources from Twinkle. Uh, sometimes they don't have the resources I want, but if you send them a little email, they will usually make it. Uh, it takes a little while, you won't get it instantly, but you're like, oh, actually, well, I really wish that this was like this. Send them an email and they sort it right out. Their customer service is exquisite. Um, so definitely check Twinkle out if you haven't already. Um, if you want to test out each day, um, when you are a full member, like I am, each day you get five memberships to give out for a month, like free trials. So if you um, would like to try Twinkle free for a month, I don't, this is not an affiliate link at all, it's just something that they do then um i again in the old description have a um a like a mailchimp mailing list thing sign up to the mailing list um there's a little box that will ask you whether you want a free twinkle month and um just say it was just say yes or no and if you want one and say yes then i will send you the link via email um, that'll be from me personally, not like from a newsletter, newsletter sort of thing. Uh, you will also, uh, from time to time, get a newsletter if I'm doing a giveaway or I'm working with a brand or something like that. Uh, very occasionally you'll get a newsletter. It's probably no more than once a month, so um, which you can ignore if you want to. Uh, number seven, let your child teach you stuff too. This is a big one. My kids love teaching me about stuff. Um, so I might set them up for a documentary set them up with a documentary and be like okay I have some housework to do I'll be back in a minute and then when they're done I'll say hey what did you like what was it about can you like tell me and they'll be like oh my gosh this is an amazing fish and it's got a see-through head and it's called it. I like oh my gosh uh they love telling me stuff they love teaching me and especially if I really ham it up I'm like no way or I go oh I have no idea I I, I don't understand could you tell me more um and it really helps it's about comprehension like processing what they've learnt and then regurgitating it <laughs> for want of a better word and teaching somebody else um is really good for their brain development it's really good for um listening and speaking skills when it comes to language arts or literacy or whatever you want to call it so let them teach you stuff also it's really fun um and as long as you're really good sometimes as long as you're really good at pretending you have no idea what they're talking about it'll work even better at uh, number eight be flexible 
this is the whole point of being home educated in my mind is being flexible it's just going okay today we're gonna have a field trip so we're not gonna do any English and maths we're not gonna go to that club we're gonna go do this instead and just saying hey yeah we're not coming this week to me is really important um and yeah I think just it's not only that it's being flexible about I home educate all three of my kids very differently and that's the beauty of home education if they were at school they'd all be being educated pretty much the same way and I don't have to do that like there's all sorts of different things but be flexible be flexible especially if you have multiple kids uh, you need to be flexible number nine take time off whenever you need just the whole point of home educating is so you can say stuff this we're off and take a week off take a have a staycation where you just don't do any of your normal activities and and just rest and chill and watch films and drink hot chocolate um or go for nature walks every single day or whatever it is that you want to do um you can take turns on holidays if being if going on holiday is something that you can manage do it do it do it do it go go camping like you can if you've got if you've got no responsibilities at home or you've got less responsibilities at home get a get like try and find a second hand tent head off camping there's loads of home ed camps like that could be a holiday um but even if you just do things that promote connection or just do nothing take time off when you need it don't be a martyr just you can do year-round homeschooling you can or home education you can do year-round stuff but also take breaks if you want to just let it go finally number 10 and this is one of my personal favorites is utilize annual passes for cheaper field trips all year round um for uh yule and christmas last year uh, my children got the what local a local wildlife park a local oceanarium a um and a, a more place called moors valley which is like a country park um car park pass that was three gifts that they got from family members um and i'm probably going to ask them for that again or money for our trip that we're taking in january that the kids don't know we're going on yet um like spending money towards that um i'll give you a clue um it's the happiest place on earth or at least in paris <laughs> um, so um yeah we go to the oceanarium we go to the wildlife park we go to moors valley and we love it we'll just go all the time and you can go every day if you want to like every day they're open there's no limits on those things you can get a merlin pass you can, which means you can go to sea life centers you can all sorts of things um i would also ask i would also recommend you check out the um art fund the national art pass or the art fund pass um a friend bought me that for my birthday and um it's it's really good uh, we got into the motor museum for free with it which was amazing what we had to pay for was our lunch that we bought that day um whereas if we had bought the tickets and lunch it would have cost um somewhere in the region of 40 50 pounds for us to get in and then 40 pounds for lunch so it was a steal uh yeah so there we go that's it 10 tips for home education there's links in the description for all of the things i said there's links in the description Thank you so much for joining me and hopefully I will see you again very, very soon. Uh, don't forget to check out my Instagram and my TikTok, Adventure All The Way.